Hello, it's Christmas Eve daytime, and I thought I'd come on here for a minute or two. You haven't seen me much, and yes, I'm holding this in my hand, so it's jittery. Sorry. Um, I saw something on YouTube where this supposed cancel culture has come along and started to downplay Christmas mu Christmas movies and old movies because of toxic masculinity. Well, first of all, if it's toxic masculinity, that means those in the cancel culture hasn't got a pair. Or they've got the wrong pair. Or they're thinking with the, with the head they don't got. So... Take, wanting to take down a, a movie like It's a Wonderful Life. Really? You people are so fucking stupid. The movie's been a good movie, and it's been an uplifting movie for thousands of people ever since the damn thing was made, which is well before your parents were born. Now, in the meantime, there's other movies, too, that I'm not so well acquainted with, so I won't touch them. But, cancel culture wants to come in, clean everything out, because they don't feel good. Well, here's a big, simple retort. Fuck you. Your feelings end where my beliefs begin, according to some folks. Therefore, everything that you feel is wrong with America. Yeah, it's only in your insights because you're so goddamn weak. You're spineless. You haven't got the brains to really think out anything logically. Or you just get together, oh, these things are bad, these things are n nasty. Oh, these things don't look right. Really? I don't think so. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care if you want to get all upset and take 10,000 aspirins because you've got a headache that I gave you. Go ahead, do that. See what happens to you. In all things that are going on now, first, for those that celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas, and for all of us that have a logical New Year, Happy New Year coming. For those that have just gone through the solstice, Merry Solstice, sorry. And for those that have other little holidays in between here that I might not be too familiar with, I wish you well for those. Now, in all things, please, it's a crazy weekend. You know, those that will drink, other than coffee, soda, tea, or milk, or water, um, please do so sensibly. I don't want to read about you in the newspaper. That would be a sad way for your life to have an end of its story. Me, my story? Well... I go to dialysis three times a week, get three needles stuck in an arm, sit there and watch my blood flow through a machine and come back. I'm still here. I ain't dead yet. So, in all things, please be careful out there. If you're in a part of the country that's getting a whole bunch of weather, slow down, take care, give yourself enough time so you're not rushed. I've lived in winters 35 years of all kinds. I've driven, I've rode trains, I've rode buses, I've rode Greyhound buses. Best thing I can tell you is take your time, dress warm, plan for a long trip, plan for unexpected stops, Plan for 
you're able to communicate with those to whom you are going or from, who's you, from whom you are coming home. Don't be crazy. Don't be wild. Politics is going to be what it is. Let it be for a day. Bite your tongue. I've had to bite mine many times. And in all things, enjoy it the best you can, please. Do the best you can. Make it through till January 2nd. Now, go out there, have fun, do what you can. Rip open the, pack, the presents for the kitties. Rip open your presents after, after they're gone to bed. For obvious reasons. And in all things, please, stay safe. Yes, I know, I look a mess. Uh, sort of kind of been, sort of kind of not. But I'm still here. Now, please, be well the best you can and do the best you can and survive the holiday. Uh, this bug thing, no, I'm not saying one word about it, not one. So, in any case, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Merry Solstice, Merry other days, I don't know, is there something with the menorah? What? All right. That's it, guys. Goodbye.